All right, so it's going to be today's just going to be a review session. I'm not going to go through the whole material again, but what I did for you, I put together two files. One is based very much on um, on past exams. Guys, can you be the only one right now talking? All right. So one is really based on, on past exams. I mean, take my word for this. Um, I cannot, it's a fair game if I ask for new stuff than what you see in the uh, review, obviously, right? And it's a fair game if I ask questions from the book that were not quite reviewed here, but it's not going to be 50% of the exam. So I want to make sure that you've read the book, and I want to make sure that you've done homework. So you'll see questions from homework. You will see uh, some of the things from quizzes. Speaking of quizzes, I'll post the quizzes today because I had to rearrange it. There were multiple versions. Like I said, I have to make it just one for you so that you don't go through a bunch of files. Um, it's going to include also your answers and questions. So you, you are able to look through those practice questions as well. Um, so let's look at the Blackboard really quick. I have this new exam study guide. You got that, but just in case you need it, I have it on the blackboard. And then for each of the chapters, so let's look at chapter 17, for example. We have your uh, student PowerPoint, then we have the full version PowerPoint, the one that was in class, with the examples, with everything there. And also each of those PowerPoints has a little, um, at the very end, like a little brief summary of that chapter. So. When you're doing this, um, you know, this exam or whatever you're doing at home and you have a, you know, you're doubting something or whatever, you can go to that synopsis at the very end, that little short summary. It's usually like two, three slides and read it through. And maybe, you know, it's probably a good idea to read it anyway. And also I have a student handout. You got that, that um, yes, this is a student handout, I believe. You have, I already printed it for you, okay? Um, so what I hand out is, if you look at it, what I did, I added all of the major formulas there, major concepts that are going to be covered in the exam, okay? So instead of you going and reading, you know, and thinking again what it might be, this is what might be on the exam. And if you do not understand what this formula is, it's a good idea to go to the book and to review this, okay? So what I wanted to do mainly today is for you to sit down and try doing that, uh, this practice for the exam. And I'll be walking around and helping you to, to solve those problems, okay? So um, let me, before you start doing it, look at the board for a second, another second. So our exam is on Monday. Okay, February 25th, this year, regular time of the class, don't be late. Um, so what is going to be there? Chapter 16, 17, 18, that's all, that's why I wanted to have three uh, exams, because I don't want you to have half a book to study for the exam. So we only have three chapters, it's not that much. Now it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, because one thing, yeah, it's not that much, but second thing is that I can go in depth more than breadth, right? So what are we going to have? We're going to have 80% uh, multiple choice, just like we had practice questions. You saw there were no calculations there. Um, so not necessarily it's a definition. It can be just apply concept type of question. Uh, okay, so what do we have? 20 questions, period, okay? Um, theory, concept. Calculation is very brief, so 100 plus 200 is 300, great, okay, just like that. You should not even have to have a calculator, but we'll get there when you need a calculator. Then we're going to have a short problem. A short problem, even though I'm saying review homework problems, it doesn't mean I'm going to give you the <laughs> homework problem. I'm not that brutal. It's probably going to be one of those requirements in the problem, okay? So what are you going to do? What is a short problem? It's application of one of those formulas that you have on the review, right? So if it's asking you, 
uh, cost of goods sold, how do you find? And you are given beginning inventory, net purchases, friend in and end inventory. Well, you need to know how to calculate. Okay, so that's a, an example of a short problem. Um, and I think you, if you look, you'll see like a good, a very good example, chapter, chapter 16, the very first page on the very back of it, there is the eight and nine question. That would be a short problem, okay? More than a multiple choice with the calculation. It, that's probably what the short problem is going to look like. Similar to that, okay? So somewhat, somewhat simple calcul calculations. Um, you have an hour and 20 minutes if you think about it. So, um, have to confess, I have not finished. I finished the multiple choices. I'm still thinking about all of the short problems. So, it's probably going to be about 25 questions. I'm thinking. Um, 25 questions, an hour, 20 minutes. You have plenty of time, right? Um, mm -hmm. Please, you have two things to bring. I want you to bring the pencil and the calculator. That's it. Don't bring this, um, no, this, and it's like one thousandth of this font. Don't even try. Please don't. Um, I don't like that procedure of finding people. Okay, so please remember, this is 25th of your grade. So even though it's the first midterm and you're kind of getting a whole hint of it, it's 25% of your grade. So if you have questions, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be here. Um, I, haven't, I haven't gotten a response when I'm going to be here on Friday. I can post when I'm going to be here on Friday. Uh, because I don't think you're going to be ready with questions tomorrow. And I think it's too late if you have questions on Monday. <laughs> so I'm going to be probably here on Friday, like first half of the day. So it's usually 10 to 12, but I'm not sure when the what that meeting is about, the evaluation meeting. Somewhere between 10 to 2, so I can't say for sure when it's going to be there. But first half of the day, if you plan to come, plan, come, plan to come at that time, okay? Okay, um, now, I have this for you. So, I know you're overwhelmed with the amount of information. So, what I could have done is just put these 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and just say... What are the things I want you to be able to do? It's those objectives, really. Okay? But I also went in and I said, okay, what are the types of costs? So this is really like a study guide again for you. Yeah. I tried to do it yesterday, but the laptop I had was not cooperating. Um, it is on the blackboard. Okay? It's there. So, yes. It's no, it's an it's not a PDF. It's a PowerPoint. Let me see where it is, so that you know exactly where it is. Yes, that's the one. So it starts from the very. Um, it's in the. It's in the folder course documents. Okay, so you go to your course documents. And it's right here, exam one study guide. Um, okay, so let's go to that study guide. <laughs> so this is also like a cheat sheet. By cheat sheet, I mean at home when you're preparing and not doing the exam. So like that. Um, and the exhibits that we went over. So if you, if you are looking and you do not remember how you calculate the production cost for whatever, you can find it here really quickly and go to the book versus going through the whole book and trying to read all three chapters because I know you're, you're probably not going to have time to do that. So I want you to have like an index right here. Okay. And then the same for chapter 18. So um, let's do this. If it's not an exhibit, it's going to say, you know, some of, kind of like an answer. 
So let's do this. You have a summarized theory in front of you. <laughs> Got it in like six pages or five pages. And then you have this. So try working this out and ask me questions. I hope I have a key. I think I, I did it. I think I have it. So we'll go through this. Okay? Ask me questions. Try doing this. We have about for about another whatever hour hour and a half or what. So if you feel like you know everything, then other people will have more time to ask me questions. You don't have to stay if you want to go. All right? And we don't have a quiz today.